A South Burlington woman says she's lucky to be alive after a chunk of concrete the size of a football fell from the westbound bridge of I-189 onto her vehicle on Farrell Street. Yeah, and Local 22's Haley Boulay has uncovered documents showing that V-Trans knew the bridge was in bad shape last summer. She spoke with the victim today. A typical Friday morning for Amara Forgs. A little before 7 a.m. had the dog in the car, taking him to puppy school. Turned terrifying. Sounded like a shotgun. When a piece of the bridge she was driving under crashed onto the roof of her SUV. And when I got out of the car, I saw this giant piece of concrete on top of the roof. Amara says she was shaken up but uninjured. The cement block was the size of a football, taking two hands to lift off of her roof. I felt incredibly lucky that it did not go through the windshield or through the moonroof of the vehicle, um, that it hit in the back, um, and that me and the dog were both safe at that point. V-Trans was on scene immediately shutting down the road to inspect what had happened. That piece right there, you can see where it's, where it's fall, you can see where this, the, it's, it's happened before. It just is bellied out and it's, it's carried enough weight with the uh, free saw and ice and everything else that it just came, more has come loose. But this isn't the first time they've noticed something wrong with this underpass. Nearly eight months ago, in a structural inspection of the bridge, crews noted that, quote, the deck fascias needed reconstruction before any loose concrete becomes a problem and starts detaching over the road. The June 2018 report also says that both the underclearance and deck geometry were intolerable and needed to be replaced. Fork says this type of thing shouldn't be happening. I'd like them to assess what's going on there and take some responsibility for what happened to our vehicle. She says she's going to avoid driving under that bridge for a while. In South Burlington, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. Now we have reached out to VTrans to try to get a statement about that inspection finding from last June, but the agency has not gotten back to us so far today.